Good afternoon, everyone. Tuesday, beginning of the week, our first group break of the day on a rainy Tuesday here in California. They, they told me it never rains in Southern California, but it does. Truth. Um, here is our eight box fly ball baseball mixer. At the very end, there'll be two March Madness spots being given away. I think this break, the old 2012 Elite, may have some Team USA and uh, yeah, some Team USA and uh, maybe some international player cards. We'll add those to the randomizer, so it'll all be on one list. They'll be randomized as one lot to uh, to two people. You'll see what you'll, you'll see. All right, so big thank you to these folks for getting to the action. All teams, all baseball teams are in, of course. And let's randomize each list. Six and a four, ten times for each list. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, and ten. There's ten. It's the beginning of the week. Cut me some slack. Dan Maddox down to Jimmy Brandt. And then six and a four, ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After ten times, Brew Crew down to the Rays. Here we go. Good luck. Here is how it all shakes out. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Uh, Dan Maddox, you got the Brew Crew. Jared with the Rockies, DMAC with the Cardinals, Brett, you got the Blue Jays, Daniel, you got the uh, Twins, Jimmy with the Mariners, Kip Kip, hooray, Royals, Shane with the Braves, Chris Parent with the Orioles, Mike Koontz with the Rangers, Yankees for Daniel, Ben, you got my Dodgers, Hayes with the White Sox, Gerald with the Indians, Allen with your last spot mojo, Reds, Adam with the Marlins and the Mets, Kevin Edwards with the Nationals, Adam with the Giants, Seth with the Diamondbacks, Brett with the Angels, Hayes with the Astros, Johnny with the Phillies, Daniel got the A's, John with the Pirates, Jared with the Red Sox, Kevin Edwards with the Cubs, Adam with the Tigers, Daniel with the Padres, Jimmy with the Rays. And we'll sort by column B. Right there. Yeah, Daniel, you have the Yankees. Trades are allowed, so go for it, folks. Now remember... We've got 2012, we've got, what is this, 2016 High Tech Baseball, 2017 Heritage High Number, 2018 Heritage Baseball, 2012 Elite Extra Edition, we got Topps Chrome Baseball, 2016 Topps Chrome Baseball, 2016 Bowman Draft right here, and this is 2016 Bowman Baseball. So keep that in mind as you trade. Uh, Blue Jays for Royals is up for trades, says Brett. Kip, I don't know if Kip is here at the moment, Brett. But that offer is out there, Kip, if you're listening. Sometimes Kip listens in the background. Yeah. This may be, today, folks, may be the one exception where, where, where I allow, if I allow football talk on a, uh, during like a baseball break, like extensive football talk during a baseball break. Because there's just a lot of, lot of things going on. Drew Brees... Finally sides with the Saints. People are people are going everywhere. So for this baseball break, I'll allow it, folks. And college basketball talk. I know there's a lot of non-baseball things happening this week. So it's okay. Usually I like to keep the conversation within the sport that we're breaking. But I feel like today people are going to want to talk about uh, all the free agent moves all day long. Uh, and everything. So I'll allow it. All right. What I'm not going to allow is any more trade windows. Closing up this trade window. Trade window closed. Sorry, Brett. Let's print this out. Oh, that's tiny. How? Why? Why is that? Why is that printing out so tiny? 
Oh, because we're at 80%? No. Let's keep it 100. That's what we do here. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing a neutral hat, so at eSports it goes, says Arthur. Fair enough. All right. There we go. Hot off the presses. This is kind of a longer break anyway, so we should talk about some other stuff too. So that list remains the same. All right, uh, let's start off with, what should we start with? Let's start with, let's go back in time to 2012. Let's see what we got in here, folks. Oh yeah, well, is the, the first first four games happening right now? Are we really that, isn't it like, who is, who is it? Like Radford and somebody? Are we that interested in that? Or are we more interested in, in that exciting, exciting uh, St. Bonaventure versus UCLA matchup? I think that's the, that's the second game tonight, right? A lot of things to keep track of. Those, those first four games, I feel like, are just a money grab anyway. Oh, no, wait. Did the other game already finish? I have no... Oh, the, the game's happening right now. Got it. Alan Murdoch saying that the Bonnies are tough. Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't have a lot of hope for UCLA. <laughs> They've played quite well this season, all, all things considered. But uh, but they're you know so I think they did a great job all things considered but I don't think they're gonna really get in or even if they do are they really gonna beat Florida or something like that come on there we go Alan said he went to Charlotte for one of whopping six games this year. Um, Alan, I went to a, uh, I went to UC San Diego, who's a who's a Division three school. <laughs> so we, that private school in San Diego where Chris Bryant went to, University of San Diego. I, f I feel like they've been in the tournament before. I think they're a D one school actually, basketball wise. As opposed to a major university like UC San Diego, some small private Catholic school in San Diego playing the tourney. Unbelievable. All right. Okay, here we go. What, ha what happened? In I don't even know what happened in 2012. All right, so we'll breeze through these cards here. And we'll stop on Jake Barrett, of course, at a 319. Good old Jake Barrett for the Diamondbacks. That'll go to Seth. There's Ty Black out of 100, a die cut autograph for the Giants. He's in the majors now. He always seems to pitch well against my Dodgers. No, Dodgers can't seem to figure him out. <laughs> there he is. Ty Black, Oppo Joe Mojo for Adam Kupperman. There's Andrew Tolles. He's with the Dodgers now. And Orzako. Orzoko? I don't know if I'm doing that right. That is uh, one of those international player cards I was talking about earlier before the breaks so he has a team usa card check that so that'll be part of the team usa randomizer oh he's part of, he's part of the 15 and under team is he in the majors by now so at the end of the break there'll be a randomizer with everybody 
the name on top, the top two names will get March Madness spots. The third name will get, um, well, not only that autograph, but any and all Team USA cards that come out of Elite. We got Rob Lyerly, who's going with Axe 2024. You don't see a lot of baseball players drop Axe on you when they're doing Bible verses. 42 out of 512. Looks like uh, Yankees. I guess we'll double check that as well right now. Yeah, it looks like he, yeah, he's a Yankee. So that'll go to Daniel with that one. There's Matt Cook at 795. That's another one for the Yankees. That's an on card auto. I feel like, isn't he somewhere? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he's somewhere, but. Like, I feel like he's gonna make a team, right? Matt Matt Cook or Koch. I think in this set. Sorry, he's a Met in this set. That is for Adam Kupperman. So back in 2012, he was drafted by the Mets. But then, uh, oh, he was traded to the Diamondbacks. That's what it was. That's why I know. <laughs> That's why I know him. Because I'm sure he was. I'm sure, I saw him in a matchup against my Dodgers at some point. Man, Joey Gallo's in here. There's old Lucas Giolito, who's coming into his own now. I think. Is it Coke? Is it Matt Coke? Maybe it is. Arthur, you're a Diamondbacks guy. Can you confirm that? Jake Thompson. It's not Jake Thompson. Uh, he's a Philly now, isn't he? He's a Tiger in this one. Out of 200 for the Phillies, 194 out of 200. You got a Chris Saratea. And there's Lucas Giolito. Wow, nice. 563 out of 722. He was a Nash, still a national in this set, Kevin Edwards. That's a pretty big one. Very highly rated prospect. Dipped a little bit, I think. His stock dipped a little bit when he was traded by the Nationals. But I think his stock is rising once again. That's a nice one to get. There's Jaime Har Harmon out of 200. It's a die cut. And that is that. So, nice. Arthur says he doesn't remember Matt Koch at all. Okay. Is he still on the... He was promoted to the majors 2016. September call-up still there. He's pitched four games in this spring, 8.1 innings, two earned runs. That's it. Four strikeouts, just two walks. That's it. Pretty good spring for eight innings. I guess he didn't – did he not play last – maybe he was injured last year. All right. Anyhow. Sleeve these up. Slide these over here. Let's move into, I guess we'll kind of go by year now, right? Let's go, let's do this. We'll go 2016 draft, then we'll go 2016 just non-draft, then we'll go into 2016 tops Chrome, and then we'll work our way onto this side over here.
So remember your 2016, we got Mickey Moniak and AJ Puck. AJ Puck getting a lot of, a lot more notice these days. I think a lot more people are, are happy with the way that he has been progressing. So keep an eye out for AJ Puck's Oakland. That'll be Daniel F. And uh, Mickey Moniak for Johnny Gonzalez for the Phillies, among others. As usual, uh, paper base won't ship in this. Or maybe it will, I don't know. I guess it depends on how the shipping team feels. If they're feeling generous, they'll do the paper base, but paper base usually won't ship in this. I forget what the item description says. It probably says it doesn't. All right, good luck, folks. Draft. Arthur, do you remember if we if this was one of the years we did like a 20 case break of this? I forget what year we did like a 20 case break of of all this Bowman draft or maybe it was Bowman baseball, I forget. Was it 15? There's some orange right there, that's nice. Or any of the other old school guys have been around for a while. Maybe Alan might remember if that was the case. All right, next box, here we go. So we'll breeze through the paper and we'll slow down a little bit on the chrome. There's Jordan Sheffield, that's Justice Sheffield's brother. Oh, it was 2015, says Arthur. Those refractors are not, not numbered. Sam, there's always nice breaks to hop in on. If you go to jazbeeshobbyland.com, we've got two breaks left That'll yield you a March Madness spot. So that'll be Chronicles Basketball and Flawless Collegiate Football. Last chance to get those March Madness spots. There's Bo Bichette. Nice. You want you want to definitely find some of these. So like that Chrome Refractor certainly will uh, will ship. And obviously the numbered cards and the autographs will also ship. But let's blow through the paper. It's kind of cool seeing some of these players from a couple years ago starting to emerge. And some of these players just are not going to see, you know, are not going to get close to the major. So it's crazy how many players could get close, how many people don't get close. Nice uh, orange paper, Nolan Williams, six out of 25. Not sure what Nolan Williams is up to right now. Maybe he's an Angels camp. There you go, orange paper uh, going to Brett. There you go, Brett. Brett, just I know you're in the room right now, Brett, so I'm sure you're curious too. <laughs> what is Nolan Williams up to? Bring up Nolan Williams. From Kansas City, Kansas, born in 1998, drafted by the Angels in the third round of the 2016 Amateur Draft. Uh, still in the still in the minors. Oh, he's young. He's uh, he was drafted when he was 18, with rookie ball in 18, and then rookie ball again uh, last year. I don't think he's in camp. Yeah, I don't think he was. In, he's not in uh, not in spring training, but still working his way up the ranks. Brett. And there's Matt Tice. For the Angels, another Angel, this time an autograph for Big Rig. I think he's a little, he might be a little bit closer. Gavin Lux working up the ranks. Nick Gordon could be a major leaguer soon. There's Matt Tyus again. Jordan Sheffield, one of the big uh, big pitching prospects for the Dodgers. His brother, Justice Sheffield, in the Yankees organization. Oh, is Francisco Mejia in this? That'll be good. He's gonna. He might be the the, the stud rookie catcher this year for the uh, for the Indians. Ooh, 
Will Smith, one of the Dodgers' many catchers. And there's Cole Reagans. Not sure where Cole Reagans is at the moment. Rangers, Mike Koontz. But is he is he getting close? Usually the college guys. It looks like looks like he's out of high school. It looks like the the college guys obviously have more years under their belt, so they're the ones that are going to be a little bit closer. But Cole Reagan still might not be quite major league ready. I think he was in low A low A last year, Rangers. That's Mike Koontz. All, always fun to look up those. Uh, Glyber Torres is going to be in action this year, I think. Always kind of fun to, to look up where these guys are a couple years later. There's Mejia again. That'll ship. Austin Meadows. We've got a uh, cyan or blue sort of parallel here. For the Pirates, that goes to John Maxwell. That's not numbered, but a parallel nonetheless. Um, with the way the Pirates have been kind of rebuilding, I guess, you'll, I'm, I'm sure you'll see some Austin Meadows action at some point. We've got Ronnie Dawson, 311 out of 499 for the Astros. Hayes Capers. I'm not sure what his status is, Hayes, but we'll see. Might be a little difficult to crack that Astros roster. We got Jimmy Lambert, blue, 136 out of 150 for the Chicago White Sox. That'll also be for Hayes. One thirty six out of one fifty. Fancy impact Justin Dunn. There's Justin Dunn again. And wow, what a hit. Bo Bichette. Purple on card autograph for the Blue Jays. Brett Myers with the Blue Jays. Brett, were you trying to trade the Blue Jays? I should have warned you against it. 246. Kip might have taken this trade right away. 246 out of 250 for your second round pick. Now, he is like in the top five in Baseball America's top 100. I think just a few spots behind Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That's a keeper for sure. That's his Bowman's first, too. And a parallel. Um, I would, no joke, I would try to get that, like take a closer look at it. I don't, I don't know how good your eye is in terms of like grading, but it, but if you eyeball it, it seems good to you. I would, I would try to get that grade. It might be worth it. So if you're in a selling mood, you might be in the best position possible once he comes out into the scene. Dante's kid. Dante Bouchette's kid. 289 out of 499. CJ Chatham. Chatham. Ch Chatham for the Red Sox. All right, Arthur. Oh, tonsils. <coughs> she gets ice cream, right? Afterwards. All right. No worries, Big Ray. Yeah, that, that kid's supposed to be the real deal. So Blue Jays definitely have a couple studs in their you know, on their farm coming up the ranks. My guess is late this year. They'll pro maybe I don't know how I don't know how close Bo Bichette is to uh, to coming up the ranks. Yeah, it's Baseball America's number eight prospect. Major League Baseball's number 14 prospect. Baseball Prospectus's number 19 overall prospect. Oh, he was in single A last year. Okay, so he still might be a couple of years off, but maybe some seasoning in double A, maybe a cup of coffee in September. 
maybe another another maybe a triple half a triple A season and then they might call him up next year. Depends on how quickly he crushes, but he's supposed to crush. He's supposed to be legit. Connor Jones. That blue parallel, the cyan blue parallel for the Redbirds. Ryan Howard. No, not that Ryan Howard. This Ryan Howard out of 250. Giants. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. Oppo Joe Mojo. Christian Arroyo. And that'll be that. Nice box. Nice Bo Bichette. All right, 2016 Bowman Baseball. Three autographs per box. So we had saw the draft. Now we, so we're seeing Bowman Baseball. I've been so consumed with with March Madness stuff and with the NFL free agent window because nothing's happening in the MLB free agent window except for the fact that the Phillies signed Jake Arrieta. Yeah, that's it. That, that, that happened yesterday. Jake Arrieta, a Philadelphia Philly. That's a, that's a great move by the Phillies, I think. Three years... $75 million, that's not bad at all. So that's actually that's actually a good deal. The Phillies could be pretty close with all of their young talent coming up the ranks. You know, they, they tanked for a little bit. They got some uh, they got some high draft picks. And we'll see what they can do with that. Corey says his brother's a Philly fan, he's super happy. He should be. Three years, not a bad deal. That's a nice vet at the front of that young rotation. You know, that's not, I mean, Jake Arrieta and then Aaron Nola. That's not bad. Got a lot of young hitters and stuff too. Um, I, like tw I like the Twins getting Lance Lynn. Folks, Lance Lynn on a one-year deal. Twins do need that starting pitching. So that could be a guy that sort of Steady's the front of that rotation. Rocky signing Carlos Gonzalez. Uh, poor Carlos Gonzalez. He remember that extension that he was offered a couple years ago. And that doesn't have the numbers here, but um, but Carlos Gonzalez had like a very healthy extension offered to him, which he turned down in lieu of free agency. Hey, he gambled on himself. That happens. All right, 2016. Bowman Baseball. Good luck, everybody. So we'll breeze through these. I think, what did the, the box say? Three autographs out of here? Plus whatever parallels we'll see here. And Sal Romano is your autograph for the Red Legs. That'll be for Allen and the Last Spot Mojo. Last Spot Mojo strikes again. There's Matt Chapman. That. Oh, I thought that was going to be numbered. That might be a, still a different parallel. And we got some green coming up. Green shimmer. Wow. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. You're welcome, Alan. Vlad Guerrero Jr., I think that's your number one prospect coming into this year. 98 out of 99, green shimmer for Brett. The tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo <laughs> happening as well. 
No ink, but still nice. Let's breeze through these. Those might be parallels. I'm, I don't remember from this year. I'll set those aside just in case. All right, let's breeze through this paper. And AJ Reed, purple paper. Hayes with the Astros, 21 out of 250. Some more paper that will breeze by. Mateo. There's Justice Sheffield, remember? Jordan Sheffield. There's his brother, Justice Sheffield, out of 499. And Franklin Cologne is your autograph. So the refractor, I guess he, I, I didn't realize he was on the Indians initially. But there you go. This will go to the tribe, Gerald, with that one. And there's Franklin Cologne, refractor autograph for the Phillies. Johnny Gonzalez with the Phillies. Two forty eight out of four ninety nine. I think we should expect ex expect one more autograph. No, yeah, one more autograph is what we should expect out of here. Maybe some more parallels. Breeze through this paper, slow down on the chrome. Anderson Espinosa, who's on the uh, Padres now that that'll still go to the Red Sox, but that was a big move. Padres quietly building up their team as well. Third auto, are you coming up? No, maybe maybe there is none. On average, I guess. There it is, Alex Bregman. That's not bad. Not bad at all. We got so we got Bo Bichette in that previous box. That was his first Bowman first. And now there's Alex Bregman. That's huge, huge for Hayes and the Houston Astros. This mixer was just marinating. It was just sitting there. Now it's revealing the big hits. Before, that Bregman was just a refractor. And then it, it marinated, and then it turned into an auto. That's what happened. All right, now 2016 Topps Chrome Baseball. So we're almost near the end. I think we're making pretty good time, too. So here's what we'll do. After this box, we'll go into 2017 Heritage High Number. We'll do 2018 Heritage in the back right here. And then we'll close out with the High Tech Baseball. The A signed Jonathan Lucroy. Mike Mustock is re-signing with the Royals. And I guess that, that's kind of what's going on 
the free agent window. Yankee signing Neil Walker. What, what's some other news? Reds out, uh, outriding uh, Dilson Herrera. Some other minor news here and there. But there you go. So I don't know. So what are the – can't think of all the big – I think all the big free agents are signed now. I think that does it for all the big free agents, right? Everyone has mo – most everybody has a home. I think most everybody has a home. All, well, all the bigger names anyway. I think Jose Bautista, Matt Holiday may still be out there. Oh, Alex Cobb, I guess, would be the next, next kind of big-ish name that's kind of out there. So, Okay. Here we go, 2016 Topps Chrome Baseball. There's Garrett Cole, and there's Zach Godley, rookie auto for the Diamondbacks. Seth with the D-backs. Kyle Waldrop, rookie auto for the Reds. That goes to Allen, last ball mojo. 44 out of 150. I think there's five autographs in this box. Jeremy Hazelbaker. The Baker of Hazel, 42 out of 50. Gold for the Cardinals. That'll be for DMAC. That's Miguel Cotto. Purple Zach Lee at a 275. It never quite panned out for the, for the Dodgers. Uh, ben with my Dodgers, purple, out of two seventy five. Peter O'Brien. Salvador Perez and Deho Lee uh, for Jimmy and the Mariners. The Korean Slugger. I don't know if he's still. I don't know if he's still around. Last bit of 2016 Topps Chrome Baseball. There it is, Kelby Tomlinson. Another autograph for the Giants, Adam Kupperman. Oppo Joe Mojo. 415 out of 499. Let's see what we close out with. We got a purple Steven Strasburg out of 275. Leave that up in just a second here. Nationals, Kevin Edwards with that one. It looks like, oh, and Tom Murphy for the Rockies. Jared with the Colorado Rockies. That's his, that's his rookie auto. And that's that. Uh, yes, Joe, um, select basketball random is breaking after this. Let me drop the schedule into the chat for everybody so you know what's going on. I thought I had it copied and pasted here. There we go. So, yeah, we should be – I should be done with this in about 15, 20 minutes or so. So select basketball happen right afterwards.
That's already filled up. And I don't. I see a lot of orders coming in, but I don't think anything's filled up after that. So get it going, folks. So this is 2017 Heritage High Number featuring two uh, 1968 designs. Obviously, the following year is 1969, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now I'm sure, I'm almost certain that everything will ship in the heritage stuff just because there's so many different uh, variations and whatnot. And always, I always say this for every heritage break that we do, check, uh, you know, I think either Beckett, CardboardConnection.com, those are two resources that uh, usually will give you um, information on variations. Now some may be obvious. Some are a lot more subtle. This And this might be, this is a purple chrome hot box. Nice. Those are generally one per case. And we got it here in this mixer. It's pretty cool. It's been a nice mixer so far. Gets me in the baseball mood. A lot of moods to be in, folks, this week. Baseball mood, spring training, right smack in the middle of things. I think position players are playing a little bit longer in games. Starting pitchers are getting stretched out a little bit. That's exciting. NCAA, the men's basketball tournament starting. All the basketball tournaments starting. College basketball, that's exciting. Uh, free agency, NFL free agency going bananas. A lot of crazy things happening this week. So a lot of sports to talk about, a lot of things to break, a lot of fun to be had. Good luck, boys and girls. Here we go. There's TJ Rivera for the Mets. So all these purple chromes are nice. We'll sleeve and top load all of those in a bit. It's Coda Glover. Nationals with that one. Jorge Alfaro. Looks like a different parallel, so we'll set that aside. NYK is in the house. He wants Seton Hall to upset Kansas in the second round. There's Steven Matz. That's a hot take. That's a bold prediction. Derek Dietrich. Not sure why he's flipped around like this, but we'll save that. There's Herman Marquez for the Rockies. Kyle Freeland for the Rockies. Drew Smiley for the Mariners. Wasn't he on the Tigers for a little bit too? Oh, Corey also has that in his bracket. There's Amir Garrett for the Reds. And there's Jesse Winker for the Reds. Nice. That's 562 out of 568. It's a nice one for the Reds. We might see him in action this year. Uh, the March Madness, Daniel, technically starts tonight. Has already started. The first four, they're the play-in games tonight and tomorrow. And then, uh, then that sets the entire field of 64. And so then the first round games will officially start on Thursday. So we have until Wednesday night to fill up the promo. Only have two breaks to go. There's Dallas Keuchel. Nice, Alberto Mejia for the Twins. Dan Vogelbach for the Mariners. Dylan Bundy for the Orioles. And look at this. Almost breezed by that. It's Dan Vogelbach, red ink autograph, 26 out of 68. Nice. That'll be for Jimmy Brandt and the Mariners. Nice auto.
Renato Nunez. Josh Reddick for the Astros. There's a Bradley, oh, Bradley Zimmer, of course. Bradley Zimmer. Matt Olson for the A's. Blake Snell for the Rays. Nemo, Brandon Nemo for the Mets. Ian Happ, nice one for the Cubs. Jeff Hoffman, Rockies. Carlos Martinez, Cardinals. Jose De Leon, Rays edition. And Jeff Hoffman at a 9.99. There you go. Part of a part of an, a, a slowly evolving and improving Rockies starting rotation. Jared Perkins, two thirty three out of nine ninety nine. There you go. All right. And the last bit. Edwin Encarnacion, Jesse Winker again. Purple Chrome. There's Jesse Winker in the back right there. All right. Nice. I'll sleeve all the rest of these up and we'll get those top loaded before they get shipped out. Oh, forgot about this. What do we got here? The box topper. It's going to be Mini Rojas, the old California Angel. That's an original. That goes to Brett and the Angels. Okay, Brett, I'm sure, is particularly interested in 2018 Topps Heritage Baseball. Because of some, some guy named Otani. <laughs> Shohei Otani, of course, is in 2018 Heritage. Even his base card would pay for a personal box on jazbeeshobbyland.com. And, um, and if Brett gets one here, out of a random team mixer, that would be, uh, if, if Brett got the Angels out of, if Brett got Otani out of a mixer, that'd be crazy. That would, that would pay for your spot many times over. Yeah, <laughs> Brett's like, oh, is that right? Is that what team he's on? Huh, didn't know. All season long, just yeah. Th this is the box Brett's been waiting for. That is for sure. All right. That door is driving me crazy. All And then we'll close out with the two boxes of 2016 Topps High Tech Baseball. That will be a nice way to finish things off. And then we'll randomize the entire list to see who gets the final two March or the final two of four. Final two of the final four. Two of the final four March Madness spots. There you go. I got it. Nailed it. And this is what happens in a live show. There's no editing. Can't fix that in post. All right. Good luck, everyone. There's Max Scherzer at a nine ninety nine.
driving me crazy. All right. There's Max Scherzer out of 999. Nationals, Kevin Edwards with that one. There's Aaron Judge. Spot some of those variations there too. Facsimile autographs. There's upside down Adam Eaton. And there's the relic right there. That's Rubnet Udor. Usually there's one autograph or one relic per box. So it looks like we're just getting the relic out of here. It's another facsimile autograph. Let's see if we end up with a cool variation. I think that's an action variation I'm looking at there. I think it is, has to be. Yeah, you can see by the code down here, zero, 01, all the base cards have 65 at the end of that serial number. This is the action variation of Clayton Kershaw. Nice one for Ben Thompson. You'd be surprised at the kind of secondary market value those variations have. Obviously, we don't see too many of those. We've done a number of boxes. I think the first one that, that we've seen in a number of boxes. Let's see what else we have to close things out. So running out of room here. And the last bid, good luck. Looks like that is that. Gary Sanchez in the back. No Otani this time. Maybe he's in another box. Let's see what's in this two, uh, 1969 original. And it's gonna be 1969 Red Sox Rookie Stars. Featuring these guys. I don't remember these guys. I don't remember these guys at all. Uh, see you, Chris. Um, and Jared with the Red Sox. All right. Closing out with 2016 Topps High Tech Baseball. Good luck, boys. Good luck, girls. Max Kepler. I think that's a short print of Francisco Lindor. It's Byung Ho Park. Not numbered, but a different parallel. We got a green rainbow. I think that's what they call it. 53 out of 99. Vlad Guerrero. Chris Sale. And your autograph is Stephen Piscotti. Rookie auto for the Cardinals D Mac.
Nice rookie auto, Steven Piscotti. Vlad Guerrero. Uh, that's Expos, but that will go to Kevin Edwards in the Nationals, Hall of Famer. Vlad Guerrero. And the other high-tech cards here. Obviously, all the high-tech cards will ship. All right, and the second box, last box of our eight box, Fly Ball Baseball Mixer, random team break number one. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Do a quick randomizer at the end for the March Madness spots and that one Team USA card, too. All right, there's Chris Bryant. There's Juan Gon Gonzalez. We've got AJ Pollock. JD Martinez at a 99. Nice Roberto Clemente. I like these old school ones in that tech format. And your autograph is Billy Wagner. Nice Billy Wagner for the Strohs. Famous closer for Hayes. Nice break, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for getting in. Two March Madness spots in this one as well, which is a treat. We will only have, after this break, we will only have two left, folks. That's in Chronicles Basketball on jazbeeshobbyland.com and Flawless Collegiate Football, of course, on jazbeeshobbyland.com. All right, there we go. Good luck, everybody. So let's get Seth down to Kevin Edwards. Everybody has a shot at everything. And let's randomize that list. Two and a four, six times. Six times. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Dan Maddox, you'll get that Team USA card. Right there. And the last two, or the top two, March Madness spots, Gerald and Shane. Congrats, you guys. You are in the Jaspies Hobbyland March Madness promo. All the details are on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check it out. There's the website right there. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.